All right, we took a break and at a rest stop, and I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of show you some of the things that we got. So let's. Hey guys, Justice Curry. I wanted to show you a quick little preview of what's in store with this video. Um, like always, head over to Facebook, follow Justice Curry, C U R Y, because that's where I do all my selling. Um, now, all the Transformer stuff I already sold, but I am sitting on tens of thousands of G.I. Joes, and I'm constantly selling them for cheaper than anybody else. Also, if you ever need to thin down your collection or sell your collection, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Facebook. All right, have a blessed day. Bye. Justice Curry with me is my special guest, TJ. How you doing, TJ? I'm doing great. Awesome, awesome. We went on a fun, fun, epic adventure. As you can see, we're being followed by the U-Haul monster. That is packed with some toys. There's some toys in the back of my vehicle as well. All sorts of things. As you can see, there's uh, modern transformers. What I'm really excited with, though, is... I'll tell you about that. So... Basically, um, a few months ago, my retaining wall fell at my house. And you go, oh, just a retaining wall? No, this ended up turning into a $100,000 endeavor. Um, most people, I don't know about you, but I don't have $100,000 laying around you. Do you have uh, no. Geez, laying yeah. around? No. Uh, and it all happened, you know, my wife just bought a city, uh, new business at the week prior, so it, it dug me into the deck game. Um, now I'm trying to use the toy game and buy collections, flip toys, to slowly crawl my way out. Um, so this lot is gonna help me get closer to the goal of finally breaking even and getting me back in the green instead of being in the red. Uh, so the basis of this, we went two hours north of us. We're in uh, southwest Michigan. So we went up to the Mount Pleasant area and met two wonderful people, Gidget and Dean, and very accommodating. But uh, Dean ended up having a major health issue about five years ago and ended up having to go through like chemotherapy. And he used toys as a way to help him during this very, very dark time. You can watch some of my videos and inspired him to go, oh, there's other adult toy collectors. He uh, branched into comics. You're a big comic guy. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. He had a pretty decent. He had a very nice collection. Yes. So restoring. He does a lot of restoration to comics. Um, once he restores them, he sends them in to get them what those of us that collect comics call bricking them, where they get them in a sealed case you know, and get them graded. Um, he, he has a very nice, very nice collection, both of figures and comics. Yeah, yeah, and they're wonderful people, uh, but he got to the point, some other obligations, other things came up, so he wanted to liquidate his toy collection, keep his comic books, um, so he had, what, what were the toy lines you remember that we picked up here? Uh, the big one was Joe's, he had, G.I. Joe's. He had G.I. Joe's, he had some modern Joe's, Transformers, both vintage and modern. Uh, vintage G1 also called yep. Mask. Uh, and then he had a few odds and ends. There was a couple of things that I'm sure Justice sees regular, but yeah, I, Dick Tracy, crash test mods, dummies, crash test yeah. dummies, little little things based in. But the bulk of it was Transformers and GI Joe. Yep. Oh, and Masters of the Universe. Yep. Uh, so we drove up bright and early. Got in my house seven in the morning. Drove up a couple hours. Met them cemented in the deal then I went and picked up the U-Haul trailer while TJ and Dean packed up the collection came back and we loaded up in totes and uh, in, in here so slowly slowly I'm digging my way out of the extreme red paying for this project that's still being in construction as we speak but um, I love how these plastic treasures because some of them I want to keep personally and then the rest I'll resell, but they can help me with real world problems. And uh, I'm just excited to see where this leads. So thank you for your help. Hey, no problem. I enjoyed it. Love yeah. seeing the collection. And uh, like like you said, Dean and his wife, their kids, and their 
pets. It was, it was a wonderful experience. We all got to nerd out and visit and talk. That's right. It was a good time. That was. That was. So we'll show some of the uh, collection in just a tad bit once we get home safely. So fingers crossed. All right, we took a break and at a rest stop, and I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of show you some of the things that we got. So let's look in here, shall we? Oh boy, avalanche. That's okay. So back here is just a hodgepodge, just some GI Joe cases, vehicles. He kept a lot of things very pristine. It was nice and guys, uh, he ended up taking all of his loose modern transformers that were on display and he put them back in the box, which saves me so much time. Um, and then what we got in the back This was kind of like his hodgepodge, um, you know, incomplete vehicles. He even, uh, TJ was saying how there's a Slave One, a vintage from, well, I guess I'm not supposed to say Slave One. I think it's called something else now. Boba Fett ship. Boba Fett ship, <laughs> thank you. Um, in these... For those of us over 40-something, we'll call it Slave One. Yes. <laughs> uh, we took plastic bags and then covered the vehicles because oftentimes if you just put the vehicles loose in there the missiles fall off and then you have a long period of time trying to match everything back up but we're saving time there's 90s vehicles 80s vehicles gi joe um any collector knows that you end up in parts and pieces like this when you swap them out and you uh create better figures um, this probably one of my favorite pins. And when you're a reseller, this is what you want to see. You want to see complete. And granted, Cobra Commander's faded. Most of them are. They get yellowed. But having the original gun, the file card, same with Spirit. These are the OG ones that collectors really want, including myself. And he took very good care of it. Even the weapons tree on the uh, Shadow Ninja, I think he was called, Budo, I'm, I could be wrong on that, and I'm going to have a million comments saying, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. But you don't see the weapon tree. Most guys pop them all out, but that's beautiful. I'm so glad that I have something like that. Army buildings with alley vipers. There's a, a great one right here. It'll probably go in my personal collection. Um, this, oh, that's one of the whitest ones I've ever seen. So often... They're uh, yellowed, and finding one white out in the wild is definitely beautiful. So I can't wait to unpack this, see what else there is, and uh, yeah, welcome to the adventure. All right, I'm going to, I'm sitting here with TJ again. Hey, hey, hey. See that trailer? I have uh, about a skill level of a .01 um, trailer backer upper skills. So I'm gonna see if I can back it up this monstrous drive that's under construction with TJ filming and yelling at me. So let's see how that goes, okay? You got a load there? I got a load. Alright, cool. So we're unpacking it. Got the slowly but surely. Hey Brandy. Yeah! Alright, so we're back. Um, we just unloaded Hi. the collection into this area. So this will be my processing area. Right now I'm going to tackle the modern Transformers because I already got a buyer for it. So that'll be my priority to lot them all up and sell them to him. And then we have a lot of uh, just little things. I know TJ's got his eye on this. Why is this one special? Uh, this is the one I always, uh, the Thunderhawk is the vehicle I always wanted when I was a kid. And it's probably my grail for my collection. Right yeah, so, yeah. And this is a complete Thunderhawk and an almost complete Matt Tracker. Yep, just missing his helmet, but- um, Missiles are included and everything. Oh yeah, and the stickers, oftentimes, you know, they're left in moldy basements, they get wet and the stickers peel right off, but the stickers are in amazing condition. Um, 
just a little bit of everything. You know, you got some Toy Biz Marvel, some Masters of the Universe modern ones, but there's also a bag of vintage figures, which is cool. And then everybody's favorite, including mine, vehicles of G.I. Joe. So lots of G.I. Joe vehicles every which way. You got a complete uh, vintage, excellent condition Rattler. Um, you have just boxes and boxes full of wonderfulness. This is, is it Jace and the Wheeled Warriors? Um, not many guys collect these, so when I come across them, I am very uh, just impressed. I like seeing things that I don't see all the time. And Dean kept a really tight ship as far as making sure things were complete, as well as um, just keeping things um, really, really well taken care of. And he liked to uh, you know display them. And you know you got a sound wave right here. It's a little bit of everything that I can't wait to really dig in and see what is here. Um, he even. Uh, for his extras, which is awesome and makes my job a thousand times easier, he labeled them. So they'll go into my extra bins. So when I come across another, um, this is the Skyhawk for the, um, what is the, the Chrome ones? I'm drawing a blank. I'll just edit it in later and make myself sound awesome. Yeah, Sky Patrol, the Chrome ones. Those will be missing. And then when I get a one missing, I pop that on there and you know, make the value times 10. Um, really, really special boxes. I know collectors go gaga for boxes. You know, 90s, that's all right. But if it's complete, awesome. But more importantly, things like this, Transformers, G1, the Metroplex, right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, Metroplex. That is super, super special as long as, or as well as some G.I. Joe games. So, and then uh, just random bins. So we're gonna dive in here and see what we got and start separating and organizing but i just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at the fun 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 stuff we have in store so all right bye tj bye <laughs>